Hey guys, the dude from Denmark here. Welcome to episode 9 of Gatecrash, the new expansion that's about to come out for Magic the Gathering. More spoilers have been revealed today, so let's check them out. The first card I want to show today is called Signal the Clans, which is a red and green instant, which costs you 2 mana to cast. Search your library for 3 creature cards and reveal them. If you search for 3 creature cards with different names, choose one at random and put it into your hand, shuffle the rest into your library. Even for 2 mana I think this card is, uh, is a really good card, even if you're, if you're just looking for 3 different creatures. Though you get it at uh, you get one at random, I still think uh, two mana is really cheap to to find a creature card for for this mana. And also, if you're looking for for three creatures with the same name, you you will get three creatures for two mana. I think uh, so. I think uh, I think it's a nice card. Urban Evolution is a green and blue sorcery spell which costs you five mana to cast. Draw three cards. You may play an additional land this turn. This is a real nice card. You get so much advantage for uh, for only five mana, so I think uh, I think it's real nice. And also, if you look at the flavor text, uh, I don't know why, but uh, I'm a little worried about it. <laughs> I think uh, the Simic, uh, the whole evolving about Simic is going uh, is going a really crazy way with this uh, card and the arts uh, and again the the flavor text of it. Dimir Charm is a blue and black instant which costs you two mana to cast. Choose one counter target sorcery spell or destroy target creature with power two or less. I look at the top three cards of targets player's library, then put one back and the rest into that player's graveyard. Wow, this is a really nice uh, charm from uh, Dimir. I feel uh, I feel that the uh, third third ability of this uh, charm will be used the most, though uh, the other two are okay, I think. Nura is a green crocodile frog creature which costs you three mana to cast. It's a one three with reach and evolve. What I like most about this uh, this card is the uh, the name of of this creature and the and the artwork. I think it's a uh, it's really nice. Boris Key Rune is an artifact which costs you three mana to cast. You may tap it to add uh, one red or one uh, right mana to your mana pool. You can uh, you can pay one uh, red and one right mana to let uh, Boris Key Rune become a one one red and right soldier artifact creature with double strike on the end of turn. I feel like this key rune is uh, real dangerous, especially because uh, it provides an uh, a new uh, a creature for you to let the battalion happen, and also got double strikes. So I think uh, I think it's a really dangerous uh, key rune. Mind grind is a black and blue uh, sorcery spell which costs you two mana and X mana. Each opponent reveals cards from the top of his or her library until he or she reveals X land cards, then puts all cards revealed this way into his or her graveyard. X can't be zero. Wow, this card is really mean and doesn't really cost you that much mana to do. Another thing is that uh, I don't know why they 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 printed that X can't be zero. I mean, why wouldn't you pay anything for this card? It's a bit weird, but uh, but maybe I'm overlooking something. Stolen Identity is a blue sorcery which costs you six mana to cast. Put a token onto a battlefield that's a copy of target artifact or creature. This card also has the uh, cipher mechanic. Finally, we get a really nice card with the cipher mechanic on it. I think uh, six mana for this uh, is really uh, is really okay. Uh, six mana to uh, put a token token onto the battlefield as a copy of target artifact or creature, and then you can copy this whenever you get the uh, damage through to the player. So uh, I think it's a really nice card and can be really dangerous. The last card I want to show today is uh, the the guildmate from uh, Boris, which is called uh, Sunhome Guildmates. It costs you 2 mana to cast and it's a 2-2. Two -two. You can pay 3 mana to let creatures you control get plus 1 plus 0 on the end of turn. You can also pay 4 mana to let uh, to put a 1-1 one -one red and white solar creature token with haste onto the battlefield. I think this is a crazy card, especially the second ability where you where you may put a 1-1 one -one red and white solar creature token with haste onto the battlefield. It really works well with the whole battalion uh, mechanic, so I think uh, I think this seems like a really good card and only for 2 mana. Of course you have uh, to pay 3 or 4 mana to do one of those uh, one of those uh, things uh, he can do, but uh, but it's a, I think it's a really good card. So cards I wanted to show today. I hope you liked this episode of Gatecrash Spoilers. If you want you can leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think of the, the cards we have seen so far and the blog in general. You can also subscribe to me to follow more of my uh, videos whenever there are new uh, spoilers coming out for Gatecrash. I'll be making a new uh, video, so if you're interested in that, you can subscribe. Until next time, have fun guys.